Hello everybody, today I'd like to give you a final update on my test bench. I decided to force the build so I can start crunching some numbers for you. I was waiting for sponsorship from Nvidia for a long time, since September. It was promised two 780s and then two 980s and still no hardware in sight. So I don't want to wait any longer, I'm really curious about certain tests. So, for that reason I decided I will settle on the hardware I already have. So I have a 770 and we will going through the type of setup when we have a one CPU and one GPU cooled. I also have a chipset cooled as well, but you know, the impact of that very minimal. Uh, my initial plan was dual GPU setup because it's one of the most popular type of setups and uh, reflects um, interest of um, enthusiast community, so to speak. But speaking statistically speaking, there's almost equal amount of people who are running a single GPU setup to the number of people who are running a dual GPU setup. So we're still very close to something realistic and what a lot of people are using. So I still find with me. If anybody would like to the next 7770s, I will gladly to uh, add the second GPU to that. But if not, we'll see later. I maybe cannibalize my Venom build. I have two 780s there. So I might take those cards off and uh, just put in the system so we can have some numbers from that. Or maybe Nvidia will wake up or something like that. But, so the final look of the system is pretty much the same as we discussed in many ways. I added second controller to control my fans because the first controller will power up two of my uh, pumps and my flow meter and so I would like to keep, uh, it's quite a bit of power draw, so I would like to keep a dedicated controller for that and for fans I will use a secondary controller and that's the only change on the front from the previous video. Also I just put all tubing in the place I am having six QDCs and the reason for that because there's a three components that I'd like to switch at will as fast as possible so we can get some numbers on interesting areas such as what's the difference between this radiator or that radiator and uh, what's, what's the performance of uh, current crop of CPU block. So I have uh, my QDCs on RAD, I have my QDCs on my GPU, uh, CPU block and I still have a 2 QDC on, on GPU. I added an additional restriction because of this, but because we have two pumps, it realistically it will compensate way beyond uh, any restrictions created by those two QDCs, so the impact is really negligible. Uh, other than that, you can see that it's uh, maybe not as neat tube runs as I, I normally do, because now we need function overlooks. And for that reason, all this uh, QDC connections are rather awkward and also I'm trying to keep uh, tube runs relatively long so I can, when I disconnect, I can put my tube far away from my components so it's nothing will drop on the motherboard and you know, spill on it or just uh, shortcut it. So long runs is a little bit safer for me. And so when I disconnect and I uh, want to put my rod away to switch it to something else, you see, so, so all um, <clears throat> my tubing will be far away from anything can create a potential problem. All right, so my plan for now, I have to fill it up, which I will not show because I showed you a million times how to do it, so nothing new here. I will prime it so it will be ready to go, and then um, I will start crunching f my tests and give you some results. Hello everybody, I just want to demonstrate to you where and how the actual testing system will be located and when we're conducting the tests. I don't want to occupy my studio all the time with this project, otherwise I cannot make any other videos. So we have an empty room in the office and we dedicated for this particular project. So you can see we have this corner um, like cubicle basically and um, I will run the system here while doing other duties throughout the day and I hope that will help to produce more videos and more actively uh, give you some results and some answers. I still need to load certain software, uh, finish my bleeding process, everything works fine. As you can see I'm getting 2.8 liters per minute which is not bad result including all the six QDCs. Switch one pump off I'm putting going to 1.8 liters again, which is quite a good numbers and acceptable level. Of that probably what most people have anyways. So we're pretty good with uh, average num 
type of system that most of you have at home, which is good results because this will be more um, comparable with what you're running and can use the result uh, more efficiently. Going to run everything against deltas with the room temperature, so this gives a small less consistent uh, type of uh, measurement and uh, you can also easily transparent your in your home environment. So that's pretty much it. Uh, everything works fine. I'm pretty happy with everything. And uh, just want to tell you that uh, I actually the test not going to be in the studio all the time. It will be in dedicated room. All right, guys. As soon as I crunching numbers, start making more updates for you. See you soon.